Hello Vlogineers, we are at Balboa Park San Diego and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. We will! Our first stop is the Museum of Us and we're going on the California Tower Tour. We're going to head up the California Tower now. There's 152 steps starting with this one. Yeah! Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The stairs get steeper. Yes, so this is the next two. I'm gonna meet you all on this next floor here. 54 steps so far, so we're about like one third the way done. So here is a map of the 1915 Panama California Exposition. Here we currently are at the California Tower. It is one of the four remaining original structures here in the park ever since the expo began. The California Tower actually has no bells on the top. It, the sound that we hear is from the carillon, which is like a piano with chimes. And there's a speaker on top. We have climbed 74 steps so far. So this is all happening during the times of the 1882 Chinese Exclusion Act. It's very difficult for Chinese people to find work here in the States. On day one, as soon as it opened up, it was desegregated, which was just unheard of at the time. A big bridge just got built right in the middle of the neighborhood. So they asked the city if they could have their own park. This next floor, that's where the spiral staircase will be. On to the top, enjoy. If I counted correctly, we, we've climbed 124 steps. Now we're going up the spiral staircase. I miscounted nine steps. I don't know how. Don't drop count. That's what I said. There's an airplane. We're almost to its level. That's the Old Globe Theater. It's like a Shakespeare theater, kind of like the one in London. And there's the tram line at the San Diego Zoo. I don't remember going on that though. The NAT, the Fleet Science Center, and the Model Railroad Museum are all in that direction. That's where we're going. It's uh, 2.30 pretty much, so it's ringing. I actually thought it would sound deafening, but it's not. That's the ocean, that's downtown San Diego, and there's the Coronado Bridge. It's blocked by some trees, but you can still see it. The tour ends here on the 8th floor, but there is a 9th and 10th floor. It's just close to the public. It's kind of dangerous to go on since it's so narrow. And the entire tower has 220 steps. We're waiting for 2.45 so that we can see the chimes move. This museum used to be called the Museum of Man, but they changed it to the Museum of Us to include more people. Yeah. Now we're going to check out the post-secret exhibit. A secret is that... <laughs> I found beef! This thing tells you about all the different mouse traps, but the thing is, this isn't very nice because I was born in the year of the rat. Rat poison, and then there's a bow and arrow to kill rats. People tend to resemble the animals they own, so this game is to see if that's true. Yes, I got it! It's because of the purple collar, so I got it. And that is the Museum of Us and the California Tower Tour. My favorite part is all the different scenery that you get on top, and there are four different uh, sides that you can take photos with. I liked how the tower wasn't just you walking to the top because at each level, the tour guide explained history of the area. The view was really cool and the tower actually wasn't that hard to climb, especially since we stopped at each level. It's not like in Europe where by the time you get to the top, your legs are dead. So we recommend you go to the Museum of Us and book a tour to go up the California Tower. We do. Now we are at the Fleet Science Center. I don't know if it shows up on camera, 
but when you look at it from afar, it looks like some of the, the wheels are rotating. So in each one of these three pictures, there are two different things that, and you have to see which one you can see first. This one I see the duck first. Now we're gonna check out the snow exhibit. This is a stop motion because when I spin it, it's going to progress through the year with the U.S. snow. Ready? Look how the snow keeps appearing and disappearing. I'm gonna build a snowman. Code. Reminds me of that blue place in Las Vegas. At the flyaway, they have a huge blue tunnel. This is a hover disc, so when brother presses the red button, it'll hover and I can push him around. Hi, Wait, I want to feel myself elevated, so I'm going to let go. Wow. I'm gonna try to fit as many suitcases in as possible. Off to an easy start. Oh no. We already broke all our things inside. Yeah, I don't think it's. <laughs> oh. Let's go! Oh dear. <laughs> yes, yes! And that is the Fleet Science Center. My favorite part was probably either the train game or the Cal amusement park. I don't remember this museum being so cool because in the past all I remember was the Illusions Gallery and the IMAX thing. But there were so many new things to me today including the hover disc and the cow amusement park and the train game. On to the next destination. Our next stop is San Diego Model Railroad Museum. Oh, it is! Let's follow it. The train is coming, it's gonna come out from that tunnel. Our next stop is the Nat. We're gonna check out Expedition Baja, the newest gallery. You know how Baja California is a peninsula? Well, 5.5 million years ago it wasn't, isn't it? This one is supposed to have a Guadalupe Caracara, but oh, and there's a cow instead, and he's alive! This plaque says that even though there's little water, the wildlife is able to survive, and I find it interesting that Baja is so thin, but it's a desert. It's super creamy. I can see under the tape, the maximum occupancy used to be 149, but they got rid of the one. It's too cold. says is what's in the containers. I don't want to say it. Wow, that's the size of an emperor penguin. I actually thought they were larger. This is why I don't like eating fish. There's too many bones. And that is the gnat. My favorite part is the pendulum in the beginning because it's nice to see the knockout tiles even though we didn't even see that. <laughs> I, think you have, I think you have to be patient for that. Anyways, I really liked the Baja exhibit because it was cool to see the desert plants and I've, I've never been to a Baja exhibit before. Also, there were a lot of animal skulls and animal parts. That was uh, interesting. Mm -hmm.